So the, the major difference between a toxic thyroid nodule and sort of the more common thyroid nodules that people think of for RFA and for other treatments is that these nodules make thyroid hormone, and they typically make enough thyroid hormone that they make the patient sick. It's essentially a form of hyperthyroidism, but instead of like Graves' disease or other types of hyperthyroidism, it's the nodule itself that's making lots of hormone which then makes the patient sick and have hyperthyroidism. The other nodules that we typically talk about or treat with radiofrequency ablation don't make thyroid hormone. And the concern there is usually either cosmetic concerns or compressive symptoms like trouble swallowing or hoarseness in the voice. And so when you say they make the patient sick, kind of describe what those symptoms are, because I know they can be quite debilitating. Yeah, so the, it's the common symptoms that you see with other forms of hyperthyroidism. So heat intolerance, heart racing, weight loss, feeling really, really, really jittery, difficulty sleeping, all of the symptoms that you typically see with other kinds of hyperthyroidism. The exception would be that the Graves' disease is the one that typically causes eye problems where people have issues with their eyes. But outside of that, it causes most of the other kinds of symptoms that you see with other forms of hyperthyroidism.